The Grand Slam of North American Wild Sheep has been around since Gransel Fitz coined the phrase nearly 70 years ago. About a decade later, the Grand Slam Club was founded by Bob Householder in 1956. Yes, we've been around for 61 years. Considering these dates of yesteryear, one would think this lifetime achievement might have lost some of its luster. However, the recipients here tonight prove the Grand Slam is as important today as it was to Grand Slam Fitz and Bob Householder in the very beginning. Every single documented Grand Slam has been important, and tonight we're honoring many individuals who have completed their Grand Slams within the last couple of years. We'll be breaking this large number of Grand Slammers into groups. Please hold your applause till everyone in each group has been introduced. For you Grand Slammers, we ask you to please quickly make your way to the stage as your name is called. Now for our first group. With the Desert Bighorn from Sonora, Bob Callio of Alberta, Canada became Grand Slammer number 1820 in 2014. Bob has taken three Rocky Mountain Bighorns in his home province of Alberta, including a self-guided ram from Cadaman. Bob's doll was in 1998 and his stone was in 2013. Tom Molesky of Indiana became Grand Slammer number 1876 in 2015 after taking a desert bighorn from Carmen Island, Mexico. Tom's doll sheep was taken in 2011 and his stone in 2013. Tom reached the three-quarter slam mark with the Rocky Mountain Bighorn in 2014. It was a stone sheep that completed Grand Slam number 1888 for Brett Axton of Colorado. That final ram was taken in 2015. Backing up, his doll sheep came from Alaska in 2003. In 2008, Brett got a home state Colorado Bighorn. A desert Bighorn also from Colorado got Brett to a three-quarter slam in 2014. Jan Doms of Belgium was assigned Grand Slam number 1890 after taking a stone sheep in 2015. Jan got his Desert Bighorn on Carmen Island, Mexico in 2011, and next was a Bighorn from Wyoming in 2012. Jan's next ram was a Doll Ram from NWT in 2013. Jan was the first from Belgium to ever record a Grand Slam. It was a Desert Bighorn that completed Grand Slam number 1897 for Terry Morgan of Texas. That final ram was taken in 2015. Backing up, his doll sheep came from NWT in 1992. In 1994, Terry took his stone sheep from British Columbia. When documenting his Grand Slam, Terry chose his Wyoming Bighorn taken in 2006, which was the best of three Bighorns he had taken. With a stone sheep from British Columbia in 2015, Alan Schaefer of Colorado became Grand Slammer number 1900. Allen's taken two self-guided Colorado Bighorns, one in 1979, and he scored again in 2006. Along the way, Allen also has two doll sheep from Alaska, taken in 1997 and in 2009. Allen became a three-quarter slammer after taking a desert bighorn in Utah during 2012. Art Johnson of Nevada was assigned Grand Slam number 1909 after taking a desert bighorn from his home state in 2015. 18 years earlier in 1997, Art was able to get an NWT doll. He took his stone sheep in 2001 and got a fine Rocky Mountain bighorn from Alberta in 2003. Gary Guerreri of Pennsylvania became documented Grand Slam number 1911 after registering a Rocky Mountain bighorn from Washington in 2015. Gary taken a desert bighorn in New Mexico only a month earlier. Gary's doll sheep was taken in 2012 and his stone in 2013. With a fantastic desert bighorn from Tiburon Island, Mexico in 2016, Jim Lines of Texas qualified for Grand Slam number 1920. Jim scored with a stone sheep in 2013. Next came a doll in 2014. In 2015, Jim hunted in New Mexico and took a Rocky Mountain Bighorn. Jim will be honored on Saturday night for a 700 Club Grand Slam and the Rams you see here should give you an idea why. 
From Mexico comes Roberto Cortazar, who holds Grand Slam number 1921. Roberto's first Ram was a doll in 2006. Next was his Stone Cheap in 2007. Roberto became a three-quarter slammer in 2010 with an Alberta Bighorn. It was only fitting that Roberto would complete his Grand Slam in Mexico with a Desert Bighorn from Sonora during 2016. Our next Grand Slammer is John Coulter of Minnesota, who now holds documentation number 1922. John started his quest in 1987 with a Bighorn from Colorado. His stone sheep was in 1989 and his doll in 1997. John won the three-quarter slam drawing at our 2016 convention and less than a month later completed his Grand Slam with a beautiful Sonora, Mexico Ram. It certainly pays to come to the Slam Quest convention. We are pleased to announce that Giancarlo Boyenti of Italy has been assigned Grand Slam number 1923. Giancarlo is only the third member from Italy to document a Grand Slam. He started with a doll in 1998. He waited a while and returned to North America in 2010 for a stone. Giancarlo got his bighorn from Wyoming in 2012, and he achieved his Grand Slam in 2016 with a desert bighorn from Sonora. We now come to 1924, which belongs to Hal Crawford of North Dakota. Hal completed his Grand Slam, like so many others, with a Desert Bighorn from Carmen Island in 2016. Hal's doll came in 1996, his stone in 1998, and his Rocky Mountain Bighorn from British Columbia in 2000 was his three-quarter Slam Ram. That completes this group. Let's give them all a big round of applause. Hailing from Michigan is Gary Adams, who was assigned Grand Slam number 1926. Gary took a big horn from Idaho in 2006. Gary's Yukon Stone was taken in 2008. In 2009, Gary became a three-quarter slammer with a doll also from the Yukon. Gary's Grand Slam was achieved in 2016 with the Sonora, Mexico Desert Bighorn. The Lancaster name from Canada's North Country is synonymous with the outfitting business. We're pleased to see Clay Lancaster document his final ram to complete his Grand Slam. Clay's first ram was a stone in 1991. His doll was in 1997 and his Rocky Mountain Bighorn came from British Columbia in 2001. It took another 15 years, but Clay achieved Grand Slam number 1927 with the Desert Bighorn from Sonora in 2016. Thomas Teague of North Carolina will be inducted into the 700 Club on Saturday night for his Grand Slam number 1929. Naturally, you're going to see some big rams on the screen here, such as his Big Stone Slam Ram from 2015. His Rocky Mountain Bighorn was taken in 2002, and in 2003, he took a Great Doll Ram. It was on Tiburon Island that Thomas became a three-quarter slammer with the Desert Bighorn in 2010. Grand Slam number 1930 was issued to Jeff Boney of Michigan. Jeff's sheep hunting career started back in 1993 with a doll from NWT. Next was a Wyoming Bighorn in 2005. Jeff reached the three-quarter slam level with a Fannin in 2011 and completed his Grand Slam with a Desert Bighorn from South Baja, Mexico in 2016. It's with great pleasure that we honor the memory of the late Roy Gamblin of Wyoming. Roy's son Dave is scheduled to be here with us tonight, and we ask him to make his way forward to achieve the Grand Slam recognition plaque for his dad. Dave was the one who got all the information together and submitted it posthumously. We issued Grand Slam number 1934 to Roy, and that number will be always assigned to him thanks to Dave. You've seen all four of Roy's Rams from his Alaska doll in 1975 to his fourth Ram in 2015, a home state Wyoming Bighorn taken when he was 81 years old. Roy passed away in March 2016. We now come to number 1935, which belongs to Joe Colt of Arizona. Joe completed his Grand Slam with a Desert Bighorn from New Mexico in 2016. 
With two doll rams from Alaska in 1987 and 1988, Joe started his Grand Slam quest. In 1990, Joe hunted in Oregon to take his California bighorn. Joe also has two stone sheep from British Columbia in 1991 and 1992. It must be mentioned tonight that Joe is the first and only Harvard professor to have ever documented a Grand Slam. Joe mentioned in his Grand Slam application that his fellow professors just shake their heads and have no idea what to think about this. Brian Harlan of Texas holds documented Grand Slam number 1937. Brian's first ram on his Grand Slam journey was a Desert Bighorn from New Mexico in 2010. His stone came in 2012 and his doll in 2013. Brian's Grand Slam was completed in 2014 when he scored with a fantastic Bighorn from New Mexico. Richard S. Hill of Texas became documented Grand Slammer number 1938 after taking a California Bighorn from British Columbia in 2016. Richard's first ram was a desert from Sonora, Mexico in 2013. Richard took a doll sheep in 2014 and his stone in 2015. Hailing from Texas is Robert G. Muckleroy III, who holds Grand Slam number 1940. Robert's first ram was a stone in 2010. Next for Robert was a Yukon doll in 2012. In 2014, Robert became a three-quarter slammer with a desert bighorn taken in Sonora, Mexico. Robert achieved his grand slam in 2016 with his Rocky Mountain bighorn from Alberta. Our next grand slammer is John O'Brien of Wyoming, who now holds number 1941. John took his doll sheep in 1995, his stone was in 2000, and his home state Wyoming Bighorn in 2014. John's Desert Bighorn, which gave him the four rams, was taken from Nevada in 2015. Grand Slam number 1944 was issued to Enrique Velasco of Mexico after he documented a California Bighorn taken in 2016. Enrique took a doll from Alaska in 2006, a Mexico Desert Bighorn from Sonora in 2008, and a Great Stone in 2015. Eddie Dankers becomes only the second Grand Slammer on the list from Belgium. He achieved Grand Slam number 1945 with the doll sheep from NWT in 2016. Eddie started his quest for a Grand Slam with a Fannin Ram back in 2011. Next for Eddie was an Alberta Bighorn, taken in 2012, and he became a three-quarter slammer in 2013 with a Sonora, Mexico Desert Bighorn. Dan Parks of Delaware became Grand Slammer number 1946 in 2016 with a Wyoming Bighorn. Backing up some 28 years, we find that Dan took a doll from Alaska in 1988. Next for Dan was a stone sheep in 2007. Dan's Desert Bighorn was taken in Sonora, Mexico in 2015. Dan has attended every convention since our first one and has been a great volunteer. The office staff exploded when they got the news that Dan had finished the job in 2016. Next is Niall Maxwell of Texas, who's been assigned Grand Slam number 1947. Niles' first ram toward his slam quest was a Desert Bighorn from his home state in 2012. Nile got his stone in 2013 and his Rocky Mountain Bighorn in 2014, both from British Columbia. It's uncommon to finish with a doll, but Nile did it in 2016. That completes this group. Let's give them all a big round of applause. David Gokenauer from Maryland became documented Grand Slammer number 1949 after registering a desert bighorn that he took from West Texas in 2016. David's Rocky Mountain Bighorn came from Alberta in 2000 and in 2001 he added a stone sheep. David got his NWT doll in 2005. Ray Pastway of Ontario, Canada is the next Grand Slammer we'd like to honor tonight. 
Ray's first Ram was a Stone in 2014. In 2015, Ray got an NWT doll. An archery California Bighorn from British Columbia was taken in 2016. Ray achieved Grand Slam number 1950 later in 2016 after arrowing a desert bighorn in Sonora, Mexico. Documented Grand Slam number 1951 is for Dennis Kalish of Missouri. Dennis's first Ram was a doll way back in 1987. Dennis waited quite a while, but in 2010, he got an Alberta bighorn. In 2015, Dennis hunted with the Navajo Nation in Utah and got his Desert Bighorn. Dennis's Grand Slam Ram was a stone in 2016. Our next Grand Slammer is Chris Kohlhoff of Montana, who now holds number 1952. Chris's stone came from British Columbia in 2007, and two weeks later, Chris added an Alaska doll sheep. Only 18 days later, Chris took a Colorado Bighorn. Then there was quite a wait, but in 2016, Chris got his Grand Slam Ram, a Desert Bighorn, in New Mexico. Ryan Ivey of Texas was assigned Grand Slam number 1954 after taking a stone sheep from British Columbia in 2016. Ryan's first sheep was a doll from Alaska in 2003. Next came Ryan's Colorado Bighorn in 2007. It was a desert bighorn from Sonora that got Ryan to a three-quarter slam in 2016. Our next Grand Slammer is Jim Meyer of Mississippi, who now holds documentation number 1955. Jim started his quest in 1973 with a doll from Alaska. His stone from the Yukon was next in 2000. Jim took his Alberta Bighorn in 2002, and he achieved his Grand Slam in 2015 with a Desert Bighorn from Chihuahua, Mexico. We now come to number 1957, which belongs to Sean Davidson of British Columbia. Sean completed his Grand Slam, like so many others, with a Desert Bighorn, and his came from South Baja, Mexico in 2016. Sean's 1981 stone was self-guided in his home province of BC. Next came his doll from NWT in 1996, and also from BC was his California Bighorn, taken in 2008. Greg Praster of California was assigned Grand Slam number 1958 after taking a Desert Bighorn from Sonora, Mexico in 2016. Greg's first Jeep was a doll from the Yukon in 1992. Next came Greg's Colorado Bighorn in 2003, and Greg became a three-quarter slammer in 2015 after taking a stone sheep from British Columbia. It was a Desert Bighorn that completed Grand Slam number 1959 for Brian Tinker of Oregon. That final ram was taken in Nevada in 2016. Backing up his first ram was a stone sheep in 1998 taken with his grandfather's rifle. In 2002, Brian got his NWT doll. On a self-guided hunt in Wyoming, Brian took a bighorn in 2010. It was a stone sheep that completed Grand Slam number 1960 for Victor Engel of New Hampshire in 2016. Backing up, we find that he took his Wyoming bighorn in 2002. In 2005, Victor went to NWT for his doll sheep. In 2013, Victor hunted in Nevada and became a three-quarter slammer with a desert bighorn. Keel Johnson of Utah was assigned Grand Slam number 1961 after taking a stone sheep from British Columbia in 2016. Keel's first sheep was a desert bighorn from Utah taken in 1978 on a self-guided hunt. Next came his self-guided Rocky Mountain Bighorn from Wyoming in 1980. A doll sheep from Alaska got Keel to a three-quarter slam in 2004. Grand Slam number 1962 was issued to Jim Warner of Idaho. Jim's first sheep was a doll in 2008. Also in 2008, Jim got a stone ram. In 2011, he took a tremendous desert bighorn on Tiburon Island, Mexico. 
Jim completed his Grand Slam with a home state Idaho Bighorn in 2016. Hailing from Nevada's Juan Rick Martin, who was assigned Grand Slam number 1963. Rick took his doll from Alaska back in 1991. Rick's British Columbia Stone was taken in 2013. It was a Wyoming Bighorn from 2016 that brought Rick to three-quarter slam status. And then a month following that hunt, Rick achieved his Grand Slam with a self-guided desert ram from his home state. Well, that completes our Grand Slammers for 2017. But remember, there's still more to come, so hang on. Again, please make your way to the stage. Let's give them all one more round of applause. Each year we recognize Archery Grand Slam separately. Those slams have their regular Grand Slam documentation number, but they have an additional number representing the Archery Grand Slams. For 2017, we have only one newly documented Archery Grand Slam. It happens to be number 64, which indicates this individual is the 64th person to take and document this amazing accomplishment. It's also Grand Slam number 1948, and it belongs to Lincoln Tap of Oklahoma. Lincoln's first ram was a stone that he arrowed in the Yukon in 2013 at the ripe old age of 12. In 2015, Lincoln took an archery doll in NWT. Lincoln's next archery ram was a California bighorn from British Columbia in 2015. Lincoln completed his archery grand slam in 2016 on Carmen Island, Mexico. At the age of 16, Lincoln is by far the youngest person to document an archery Grand Slam. Of special note is that all four of these hunts were recorded on high-definition video and have aired on Lincoln's extremely successful TV program, Young Wild. We certainly hope his videographer father, Jim Tapp, comes to the stage with him. So let's give both of them a big round of applause. As with the Archery Grand Slams, we recognize Lady Grand Slams separately. Those slams also have regular Grand Slam documentation numbers, with an additional number representing the sequence as a Lady Grand Slammer. For 2017, we have only one Lady Grand Slam to recognize tonight. Starlene Clayson of Utah holds permanent Grand Slam number 1886 and Lady Grand Slam number 61. She earned these spots in history when she documented a stone sheep taken in 2015. Backing up to 1997, we find Starlene took an NWT doll that year. Next for Starlene was a self-guided home state Utah Bighorn in 2001. Starlene became a three-quarter slammer after registering a desert bighorn from Nevada in 2012. So congratulations, Starlene, on joining a very select group of ladies. Let's give her a big hand. Tonight we have several people who have documented multiple Grand Slams. Some have a second, some have a fourth or more, and some fall into the several category. We want to recognize all of them as a group, so please hold your applause until everyone has been introduced. As your name is called, please make your way to the stage quickly. Pete Mowbray of Virginia recently documented his second Grand Slam. The ram that got Pete to this additional milestone was a desert bighorn from South Baja, Mexico in 2016. The other rams that make up Pete's second Grand Slam date back to a bighorn from 2000. In 2010, he got a fannin and in 2011, a doll that are included in this second slam. From British Columbia is Jim Shockey, who achieved his second Grand Slam with a West Texas desert bighorn on New Year's Day 2017. In 1996, Jim took his second stone sheep from British Columbia, and in 2004, he added a Wyoming bighorn. These first three sheep mentioned were all taken with a muzzle loader. Jim's doll was with a rifle and taken from the Yukon in 2013. Jim's first Grand Slam was with a muzzle loader, so with another doll taken by this method, he will have two muzzle loader Grand Slams. Steve Brueggemann has done a tremendous amount of North American sheep hunting. 
The fact that we're recognizing him for a fourth Grand Slam ought to prove that. The Rams you see on the screen are the four that comprise this particular slam. Of special interest is that Steve has a muzzleloader Grand Slam we recognized some years back as only the fourth taken by that method. Steve's four largest Rams add up to 706 and 5 eighths points, which of course means he was inducted into the 700 Club a few years ago as well. Mike Carpenito Sr. of Washington is being recognized for both his third and fourth Grand Slams. Those include two NWT dolls from 2011 and 2016, two BC Stones from 2010 and 2013, an Oregon Rocky from 2007, and a New Mexico Rocky from 2016, and finally Deserts from Arizona in 2013 and New Mexico in 2016. As you can imagine, Mike has done some serious sheep hunting here in North America and has actually taken 17 different rams. We can credit Jeff Damaski of Colorado with 29 North American wild sheep. Within those, we're able to honor Jeff tonight for his fifth Grand Slam. We chose a 2013 Desert from Nevada, a 2013 Colorado Bighorn, a 2015 Stone Sheep, and a tremendous Yukon Dog Ram taken in 2016 that was counted as the completion of Grand Slam number five for Jeff. Jeff will be inducted into the 700 Club on Saturday night for his four largest Rams that have a combined score of 714 and 3 8 points. We now like to call Tom Hoffman of New York to the stage. His name should be familiar, and it's almost synonymous with bow hunting. He was the second person to ever document an archery Grand Slam, and in the same year as the first person, Jack Frost, less than a month later. Tom is being recognized tonight for his fourth archery Grand Slam. He got the job done in October 2016 on Carmen Island, Mexico, with the fine desert bighorn. You're also going to see included in this archery slam, Tom's doll from 2000, Fannin from 2009, and Alberta Bighorn from 2012. Congratulations, Tom, on yet another amazing milestone in your lifetime bow hunting career. Let's give him a big hand. It's now time to recognize a particular type of Grand Slam that's never been accomplished before, and honestly, we never anticipated documenting this type of Grand Slam. We'd like to call George Lawrence of Washington to the stage to first of all be recognized for his sixth Grand Slam that he completed in 2016. But there's a whole lot more to this story. This man has a Grand Slam with a rifle, another taken with a bow, another taken with a muzzle loader, and last year we recognized him as the first to ever have a handgun Grand Slam. He even has another Grand Slam of combined methods. This is a man of goals. And while he was working on his handgun Grand Slam, he decided he wanted to take all four with a 30-30 open-sided lever-action rifle. You've been seeing the four rams on the screen that make up that Grand Slam, which will be designated on the list from this day forward as 30-30 Slam number one. That was completed in 2016 with the Wallapai tribe in Arizona. So please join with us in congratulating this amazingly accomplished North American Sheep Hunter. So let's give all these multiple Grand Slammers another big round of applause. 